Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. The morning voiceover huddle. My name is Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach, voiceover demo producer. And uh, every weekday morning at this time, we get together to talk about voiceover. I'm coming to you from my daughter's house, who lives three doors down from me, as our house continues to be under reconstruction. Lots of remodeling going on right now, which is exciting and a pain in the butt all, all at the same time. Well, we made it through Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So now all that's left, well, maybe not all that's left, but one of the big decisions I think that has to be made right now, at least this is what's burning on my mind, is do I start eating well now up until Christmas or do I just keep going full full bore through, through January 1st? I'm leaning toward the latter. What's your thought this morning? Hey guys, uh, we're here to talk voiceover actually. And I'm so glad you're here. If you don't mind just sharing your name and where you're watching or listening from this morning. I Something came into my inbox the other day. Actually, I take that back. Um, let me back up a little bit. This was, um, I think it was, it, was either, it was either posted in my private Facebook group for students who are in my voiceover blueprint or emailed to me by one of those students, which I then shared. But I wanted to share some of the highlights with you because if you've ever wondered what a voiceover client wants from a voiceover talent, I'm about to tell you. Will this make your life easier? Absolutely. If you if you take heed, if you listen carefully, and and you begin to work in the way that clients want you to work, it will make a difference. Now, this this is uh, in direct contradiction to the way a lot of voiceover talent work, who really operate from the standpoint that it's about them. But the reality is, if you want to be successful in business, you have to operate from a marketing standpoint, which means you always operate from the standpoint of the client, the way they see things, the way they need things, what their specific requirements and needs are. If you want to be successful in voiceover and not waiting years between jobs, that's the way to approach it. So what I did was I took this rather long email that this client had written. And by the way, this was a client through Upwork. But this is not just applicable to Upwork. The principles, it's so good. This is why I'm sharing it with you because if uh, I think if you pay close attention and integrate these ideas into your work, it can make a difference in whether you get work or not or how much work you get. The first principle that was shared by this client was this. Underbidding on a project is not a good strategy. And I think a lot of people really get confused because, and I understand, I think just intuitively a lot of people think, well, the lower you bid, the better your opportunity to get the job, right? Which is why a lot of more established, what I'll call traditionalist voiceover talent, you know, cry and scream when when people they feel are they're, they're undercut by their voiceover talent because the assumption is that the cheaper it is, you know, uh, the more likely somebody is to buy it, and that's not. And I, we all know that. So if you think that through. Think, you know, there are things that you want to need. You're not always looking for the cheapest. You want the best price for the best quality, but it's going to have to meet a certain standard regardless of what the price is. So just by just going in and just bidding super low doesn't position you well in the client's eyes. They see you as less than. If you're if, if they've given like a budget and you come in under budget, it makes them think you're not confident in your skills. You're newer at what you're doing. You probably can't do a good job. And I'm taking a lot of, again, there was a lot said around these points, and I'm just summarizing for you here in this video. So underbidding is not a good strategy. Number two, your bio or anything you write about yourself, your background, your experience is only glanced at. It is not primary. That's not how clients primarily make their decisions. So, and I know it seems important to you and to me because it's our lives. It's our careers. How could they not be interested? But remember, this is all about them and what they're trying to get accomplished. And um, again, reading your bio is not top of their priority. So don't give it a lot of thought, or I shouldn't say, well, I shouldn't say that. You should give a lot of thought to anything that you write, but, but make sure that you're thinking about what are the one or two things that I could say that might be helpful, if anything at all. Because this brings me to the next point. What are they going to? They're going to your, you're going to your demo or your audition or your portfolio. Here's the point. They want to hear what you can do. They don't care what you say you've done. That's, for the most part, irrelevant. What they care about is what you can actually do. So the quality of the recording and the quality of the performance is of utmost important, 
That's what they are going for. Now, the final point is this, and this can be what pushes you over the top. The last thing this client said is recording a sample, a custom sample, if, if you're provided with the script, is a big plus. The only thing better than a recording for them to hear is a recording of their project. That's That could seal the deal for you. Something happened to me years ago, and I'll never forget it. It made such a deep impression on me. This was years ago in my career where um, a client had reached out to me and one other guy for a job. And the reason I know that is because the client said so. You know, he's, He had narrowed it down to two people. He sent the script out and wanted a quote. I got back to him with a quote. The other guy got back to him with a quote and a custom sample. Now, you might be saying, Bill, how could you? Surely you knew better. I know better now, but at the time, I just, you know, it, it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, computing with me that that was like a priority. And it should, as I think about it, absolutely, I should have known better. And that here's the, here's the, the kicker. The client told me that. He said, well, the other guy gave me a sample. That's why I chose him. That, that's why that stuck with me. And you better believe any chance I get to record a sample, whether I'm asked for one or not. If they provide a script, you better believe I'm going to record at least a few lines to give them an idea of what I sound like on their project. So underbidding, not a good strategy, not as helpful as you think. You, you think it's, it's making you a stronger candidate. It's making you a weaker candidate. Number two, your bio, anything about you, what you've done, it's at best it's glanced at. It's not primary. Third, what's important, what they're going for, they're going to write for your audition or your demos or your portfolio, what, whatever recordings that you've got available, that's what they want to hear. And the kicker, the, the icing on the cake is going to be if you can give, if they give you a script and you get, get them back a custom sample so they can hear you recording their project, that is what can push you over the finish line. So this this is, and the reason, and I know this comes from one person, you could say, well, Bill, it's anecdotal. Well, yeah, one time it's anecdotal, but I have seen these comments from clients over the years over and over and over again. So I'm sharing these with you as, as universal truths because I've seen them mentioned so many times. These are worthy of writing down and putting up in your studio or over your desk or write it on the palm of your hand every day so that you see it. Uh, these, are, I mean, that's how important this stuff is. So use those. and. Uh, comment below. If you, if you do these things, you know, comment below, by the way, you know, make it, make it a conversation amongst everybody who's visiting this, you know, this video, share what your experience has been. Uh, and if you go out and try this, let us know what happens. And which reminds me, by the way, to remind you to make sure if you haven't yet subscribed, it really does. I would consider it a huge favor. I don't take it lightly because every time that uh, somebody subscribes and if you give the video a like it, it encourages YouTube, just share the video with more people. So I, I want you to know, I always appreciate that. Ron, good morning to you in Charleston. He was first in line today on Taco Tuesday. Yes. Uh, Bob, how are you doing in Reedsville, North Carolina? He Bob was his close second. It's getting, like I said, it's very competitive. It's fast. You got to be on your feet. Got to be on your toes. So you can't be on your heels. Got to be on your toes. You're going to be first in line for this show. Um, let's see here. Amanda says, hello from Mandy back in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Hey, Mandy. Gary McFadden, good morning from the Montana wilderness where it is 17 degrees. Man, I feel you, Gary. Believe it or not, here in the Chicago area, it's like I'm showing 15. This is way too cold for me. It's at times like this, I think, why did I move back here? And like, oh yeah, my kids and my grandkids, okay. And then I'm reminded, but I just have, I have to take a, a pause for a second and rethink that through because not that it doesn't ever get 15 in Cincinnati. It does. It just doesn't stay 15 for any length of time. Bill in Pine Knoll Shores, North Carolina. Hey, Bill. Uh, Aaron in Columbia, Missouri. Hey, Dave in New York City. How are you doing? Corey in Whitehall, Wisconsin. Mark in Estes S Park, Colorado. David is in Gardner, Kansas. Miss Canal Winchester in Groveport this time of year. Thank you for mentoring or mentioning home as often as you do. <laughs> Thank you, David. I mean, yeah, there's no place like home, right? When you've lived someplace for a long time, it's it, it's it takes a while. 
if ever, to make the full adjustment. You know, I get it. I totally get it. Melissa in San Diego, Greg in Asheville, North Carolina, Tess in Tequila, Georgia, Wayne, the voiceover champion, Mary, how are you doing in Atlantic City, New Jersey? Danielle, good morning to you in Fort Wayne. Denise in Long Island. John in Rhinebeck, New York. Ron says, be healthy, January 2025. I assume what you mean by that, Ron, is don't worry about it until January 2025. I got gotcha. you. I'm, I'm tracking with you. I saw a coffee cake laying out like a, like a, like a cream cheese coffee. or Is that what it is, cream cheese? Yeah, it's delicious setting out. I think that's where I'm headed right after I finish up here. Because i, I got to get in the right frame of mind today. I have to go to the DMV today. Or if you live in Ohio, it's the BMV, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. But of all the things in the world, maybe going to the dentist would rank pretty high up in the things I don't want to do. But I think the DMV might be even more than that. Vicky just rolled her. Why are you rolling your eyes at me? Because I'm crazy, she said. I just, I don't know. It get like, I just have a, I have a very physical and emotional reaction to going to the DMV. <laughs> I, that's how much I despise it. I hate it. Vicky, bless her heart, helped me last night get all my documentation together so I could go in and get my Ohio. Uh, not my Ohio. This this time I need Illinois. Right. I can't keep up with the states. <laughs> need my Illinois driver's license. Uh, Bill, how's it going in Boise, Idaho? Someone turned on winter. It's 18 degrees. Yes. Somebody found the switch and they they flipped it for sure. Terry, how are you in Falston, Maryland? Uh, Forest in, oh no, I'm sorry, Hart, Harrogate, North Yorkshire, UK. I hope I got that out all right. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate that. Dale, how are you in Atlanta? Mike in Spanish Fort, Alabama. Uh, Baruth in San Juan, Texas. James, good morning. Sandra in Worthington, Ohio. Scotty in Brookings, South Dakota, 10 degrees this morning. Okay, Scotty, so far you are the record holder of coldest location. That's the coldest I've seen share this morning. That's getting pretty darn near a single degree. Of course, we're talking Fahrenheit for all my friends outside of the U.S. Um, 32 would be freezing. So 10 is anything below, well, in my opinion, anything below 75 is too cold. But that's, that's a whole other conversation. Theo, happy Tuesday morning to Bill and everyone from downtown Chicago, where the cold weather means that it's time to add layers of insulating fat cells. Yes. Theo just found out the other day that uh, one of my favorite restaurants, Grand Lux, there in Michigan, uh, was it Michigan and Ontario or Michigan and Ohio? I think it's Michigan and Ontario, is uh, closing down. I don't know if it's closed yet or not. Hopefully not. Vicky and I wanted to make it up for breakfast sometime before. They go out of business. Makes me sad. Um, let's see here. Robert says, hello, Bill. It's Robert in Mobile. Why is your voice super deep, deep today? Because I just got out of bed. That's why. It just hasn't It hasn't warmed up yet. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's see here. AG in India says, good morning to all. Absolutely agree with the sample recording. Makes a huge difference. Wake up or feel better or don't get sick, Bill. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I just need to wake up. I'm, I'm fine. Although I'll tell you what, I'm surrounded by illness, aren't we? Last night, weren't all of those grandkids sick last night? Third. Okay. All three of the grandkids had something going on, like fevers and stuff last night. But they're supposedly doing better this morning, so... Fingers crossed. Uh, hey, Denise, I created a custom sample for an invite and got the job. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. It it so dramatically increases your opportunity. It doesn't guarantee you'll get the job. But, it's true. you know, our, our job is just... Our job is to increase our odds the best we can. Our smallest dog feels he has to protect us all the time from enemies that are real or don't exist. Always on high alert. We've got Mike in Chile, York, Pennsylvania. Good morning. Claire, good morning to you in Prescott, Arizona. It's 31 degrees. So, yeah, I mean, you've hit freezing there, Claire. Hey, it looks like Mallory's headed to the studio to go to work this morning. She's been so kind to, number one, allow us to live here. 
Number two, to let me use her studio. Oh, I got, okay, quick story. It's a voiceover related story. Maybe I should share it. Should I share this as another video or should I go into it now? Nah, I'll, I'll share it with you now. So yesterday I had a Source Connect session scheduled. And um, so Mallory said, well, you know, she's, she has Source Connect. She said, you can use my studio. Great. Well, then I get a text from the, the, the foreman over at the house, my house, where they're working. But I talked to him about it earlier, and he said, and I, th I thought I couldn't go back and use the studio. And he asked, said, do you want to use your studio today? Because you, know, you can get to your studio, and we're eating lunch, so it'll be quiet. So I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So, so it's getting time to do, to do my session. So, and again, I live three houses. I mean, it's, it's a stone's throw, but it's not that far down the street. So I go down there. I walk into the house, say hello to everybody who's there working, head downstairs, get into the studio, and I realize I don't have my computer. So I have to run back upstairs, run back down to the house here. I get my computer. I go back to my house, go into the basement, go to the studio, get set up, and, I and then my USB hub is not working, which is what I put my source, the iLock dongle that unlocks my source connect. So... I won't go into all, all the explanation, but I couldn't want work my source connect. So I had to come back over here and get in the studio to work. It was crazy. Session went fine, but it was, I was running a little late, but thankfully it was a long, long time client who knows me well. So it was all good. Bruce, what's up this morning? Wally in Maryland. Good morning, Andrew in Calgary. Good morning to you. Oh, I need some coffee. I desperately need some Michigan cherry coffee. Even after the beating Ohio State took from Michigan, I'm going to drink that Michigan cherry coffee. Uh, Robert, how are you doing? Thomas, it's a chilly 60 degrees. I, Thomas, I don't want to hear about your chilly 60 degrees in Naples, Florida. Are you kidding me? That's like you're rubbing my face in it now. It's 60 and chilly. Oh, Thomas, you know, enjoy, enjoy. I'm just jealous. Lemuel, good cold morning from Fort Wayne, multitasking life. Yes, Gary McFadden says, DMV, abandon hope, all ye who enter there. I know, what is it about these places? You know, and they're getting better at, you know, like the, my thing today is an, appoint, is an appointment. So that's, you know, supposedly I don't have to wait three hours to get to the desk to do my business. So that's good. Uh, but then you hope, you know, and I've gone through all the, to make sure I've got the right documentation, but do I really have all the right documentation? How many times have you gone to the DMV and they go, no, this won't work. You need this instead. I don't think about it again. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to break out into a sweat here in a second. Uh, let's see here, Virginia. It's finally cold in Glendale, Arizona. Zenith says, coach, sing a song. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Thanks. We'll see. Maybe someday. Uh, Keith and Renton, Washington. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Um, press like folks. Bill is the best and dedicated to see us succeed. Oh, Dave, thanks. Dave's a member of the voiceover blueprint. And uh, it's always good to have the blueprinters here. Uh, join me on the morning stream as is Theo. Theo says, hit me up when you come to town for Grand Lux. I love that spot and haven't been there in way too long. Hey, Theo. Cool. That'd be fun. I used to uh, do work across the street from there at ARU, ARU Studios. Um, I'm not like all the time, but I mean, I've been there a number of times to do work and, and um, I'm, you know, miss coming down that way and hanging out with those folks and hitting the Grand Lux. It's a whopping 20 in Butte, Oregon, says Warren. All right. Susan says, back from Cheyenne, Wyoming, when I was there, it got down to four. <laughs> well, it's just chilly in Stillwater. I think that makes me a weather refugee. Yes. Uh, Theo says, last day for Grand Locks is, is uh, Christmas Eve, according to NBC. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I better make my plans. I know Vicky wants to come down and see the lights and all that stuff too. It's I know it's beautiful down there. I got oh my gosh. Okay, one another quick story. I was down there on that corner because it was ARU Studios for I went to a workshop down there. This is I don't know how many years ago. 
But what I didn't realize is uh, the workshop ended on a Saturday. And when I came out, the Christmas parade was going on and I could not get to my car. And so I walked on how many miles up and down Michigan trying to find a place to break. To, I had to go to the other side of the street to get to where my car was at. Memories. Uh, good morning, Jacob in Atlanta. Hey, Joe Lee. Your new home sounds amazing. I'm so glad you moved back to your grandkids in Mallory. I know they're thrilled. Thanks, Joe Lee. I know we're thrilled. No, I, yeah, it, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of love going on right now. And we're, we're excited to, uh, to get to our house one of these days. Thomas, I did my time in Chicago during the winter. I know it kind of feels that way when you're here during the winter. Did, did your time and I get out and don't come back. Uh, let's see here. We've got working on my demo reels and practicing nerves about releasing my first demo reel on Fiverr. I get that, but you got, I mean, just do it, just do it. Uh, because what, here's what's going to happen. You're going to release the demo and then nothing's going to happen for a while. So it just takes a while for it, for, for it to get traction. So the longer you wait, the longer it's going to take to get work. It's about 28 in Bangkok today. 82 Fahrenheit for the U.S. Oh, okay. Oh, Kevin, man, I'm really jealous. That needs to be my winter destination. Uh, Geekalicia says, thank you for the inspiration and information. Thank you. Susan, side note, the DMV in Cheyenne, all departments is amazing. I recently had to replace my driver's license 15 minutes in and out. Are you kidding me? Where's this at? Uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming? We're moving. Yet again, no, not for just the DMV. But that's that's how we're not moving for anything that you just said. That's how strongly I feel about it, though, that I'd almost be willing to change dates. Anthony just started direct marketing. Offering a sample is in my email temple, template. Very good. That's excellent, Anthony. Yes, it should be. That's a great PS, by the way. Because, you know, people, it's been proven. People read the PS before they read the body of the email. P.S. Always glad to provide a custom sample of any of your upcoming projects. Add that. Good stuff, Anthony. Susan, uh, good morning to you. Thomas, work near Michigan and Wacker. Yes, yes, yes. Last time I went to DMV here, it was pretty painless. State Department of Licensing, though, when I got my picture taken, their AI algorithm said I was only 50% matched for my old picture. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. Uh, was it? Was it your? Did you have like a, a wacky smile or something that, that threw off the AI algorithms? Oh my gosh, Rusty is in the in the UP of Michigan. Rusty, hang in there, buddy. Spring's coming. It's got to be getting really cold up there. And good morning to Marie in Texas with Starbucks Frappuccino. Hope you had a blessed Thanksgiving. I did. Thank you. I hope you did too, Marie. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Take care.